Someone is gonna get really rich doing this. You might have noticed how social media got filled with these cool N8N workflows that use AI to solve all kinds of things. I've been sharing my workflows too, both on LinkedIn and here on YouTube. N8N is an incredible tool and these workflows are truly, really helpful. But a lot of people, especially people who don't have technical skills, find these very difficult and complex to use. And I guess the UI of N8N can be a bit intimidating. A lot of people want something more simple. A simple form, click a button and then you get the results. And this is a massive opportunity because YouTube is filled with powerful NAN workflows that solve real problems for real users, often free to download, free of charge. And if you can slide in between the workflow and the average user and offer access in a more user-friendly way, you'll be in business. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways this could be achieved, ranging from dead simple to more challenging, but with bigger potential. Let's go. If you're new to this channel, welcome here. I'm Simon Harberg and I run a SaaS portfolio of AI tools to help you grow your personal brand, handle incoming emails and support, track link engagement and much more. We are a fully bootstrapped small team of just four people, myself included. And the reason we can stay this lean is because we know how to use AI and automation to handle most of our operations. If you're not familiar with N8N, it's a popular AI and automation tool similar to Zapier and Make, but much more powerful. And I use this tool heavily to run my startup. The first and easiest approach is to build a super simple and streamlined UI on top of a really good but complex N8N workflow. Here's how it works. Scroll YouTube for N8N workflows. Try to find one that looks really valuable, but also one that looks a bit complex and where you notice many people in the comments struggle to make it work. Then simply download the workflow and get it running on your own N8N account. The best and most scalable option here is if you have it self-hosted, so you can have unlimited workflow runs. Now, N8N allows you to start any workflow using an incoming webhook, which essentially is just an API endpoint. So you now go and build a simple UI on top of this where users can input only the most crucial things the workflow needs to get started. Some workflows may need a user to log in with Google. Some may need that they upload certain files. But that's it. You stripped away all the complexity and now offer a very simple, but very powerful little tool for one specific job. And here's how you could monetize this. If your N8N workflow uses something like OpenAI, then you obviously need to pay for the tokens through your own account. Asking users to bring their own API key is again complex for some users, but it also gives you the opportunity to charge users for the AI credits that's being used. And of course, add a small margin on top. Of course, you could also offer monthly plans to accommodate a certain number of workflow runs per month. Once you find a good workflow, understand it and make it work for yourself. You can use a tool like Lovable to describe the use case and quickly create the perfect user-friendly UI to put on top. Now, the second approach is a bit more ambitious, but here we start thinking bigger. Instead of a single use case, you create a collection. Go on a spree and collect super valuable N8N workflows while creating really simple user-friendly UIs on top of them. You can start with two or three, but keep iterating. Use YouTube as your source of inspiration and keep adding new workflows to your collection. Call it Easy N8N or something like that. And then ensure that users need to create just a single account to use any app in your collection. And now you can sell subscription plans that covers all apps under your Easy N8N umbrella. And just like before, you could also here offer AI credits and add a margin to make a profit. There's a tool called Run Comfy, and they're doing something very similar. They took an existing open source tool, Comfy UI, and now they're collecting workflows and provide one-click run in the cloud with a super simple UI on top. These complex Comfy UI workflows still run in the background, but the user will see a simplified interface to do a single specific job. I think this is super clever. You could build a small library of reusable UI components for all your workflow forms, give Lovable access to your repository and simply use Lovable to repeat the process of creating simple user-friendly UIs on top of your workflows. Finally, the last approach is the hardest. 
but also the one with the biggest potential. With this approach, you zoom out a bit and ask yourself, what exactly is the problem this workflow is solving? What does users achieve by using it? How is their businesses or lives better by using this exact workflow? Find a popular, super comprehensive and complex workflow and turn the core of that problem into a fully fledged SaaS. Now, the scope of this SaaS might span much more than what the workflow is offering, and you might keep growing the product in the direction of your user's feedback, but using the idea behind that one NAN workflow as a starting point. You could still use Lovable to create a SaaS starter, but for a tool like this, I would move more into custom code, maybe assisted by tools like Cursor or Klein, and a custom backend and infrastructure on AWS. Use the workflow only as an entry point to kick things off, but replace the steps in the workflow with custom API endpoints you control yourself. Now you have the UI on top, you replaced N8N with your own backend, and now you have a fully fledged SaaS product ready to serve. If you follow any of these three steps, you will have a SaaS by the end of the year, at least in some form. And who knows, by building one SaaS this way, you'll quickly get a better understanding of how to build and run a SaaS in general. And it might spark some serious inspiration to do more. I think NAN workflows are a great source of inspiration. They are easy to access, mostly free, and fundamentally, they solve a problem. Now, if you want more inspiration like this, take a look at these five real AI agent business ideas you can build in 2025. I will see you over there.